We're back with another 2021 rookie profile. Is Seth Williams a heat seeker? Watch and find out. rookiedraftguide.com welcome back to the channel if you haven't already subscribed let's let's go ahead and do that right now it's right below if you just look yep right there just click it if you have thank you we appreciate it hit the like don't forget to get this thing up to 200 likes let's do it people join us come with us and don't forget check out rookiedraftguide.com all right we pose a question in every video and in this video i want to know is seth williams one of your top 10 rookie receivers in this upcoming draft class. Let us know in the comments below. Williams, the four-star prospect out of Paul W. Bryant High School in Alabama, was, a, was an intriguing prospect coming in. Uh, part of the 2018 class, he was number 35 overall, if you look at uh, 247's composite rankings. Uh, appeared to be one of those guys that was on his way up, you know, went to a good program, uh, and chose Auburn over, you know, offers from Bama and Florida and Florida State and Georgia. I mean, so it wasn't like this was his only option. He had plenty of choices to choose between. Chose uh, Auburn, and things went okay for him. Uh, you know, when you look at his career there with Auburn, um, statistically speaking, nothing to write home about. You saw some gradual growth and development um, over over these last two years, but there's definitely uh, room for improvement, as we'll get into uh, a little bit later in the in the uh, in the video here. Um, when you look at what he had to work with, you know, quarterback play wasn't stellar during his time at Auburn. Um, it, it just seemed like there there was a lot to be left to be desired when it came to not only uh, Williams' college career, but, but just the overall package at Auburn. You know, um, everybody was super high on Knicks. He could still develop into something, but it just didn't hasn't been it hasn't been clicking on all cylinders especially during uh williams time there at auburn now obviously uh first career you know we like to talk to stats here uh he had 132 catches for 2124 yards at 16.1 yards per catch 17 touchdowns he also had a um and that was it he had no rushing i apologize i was looking at sports reference and i was going to start reading off things that weren't there so glad i caught myself and then you won't have to correct me in the video that I'm adding things that aren't there. So um, purely a receiver, uh, didn't get at all involved at all in the rushing game. You know, and when you look at him, uh, when you watch his film and, and rookiedraftguide.com, we're going to have film up there for you to watch, stuff that we saw, uh, stuff that we watched, and let you decide for yourself. You know, remember I asked a question, is he a top 10 rookie receiver for you? So um, when we when we looked at the film and, when, and, you know, when I was digging back through the film as well, getting ready for this, um, there were a, a lot of things to like about him, you know, the big, big, you know, big size, big catch radius, things like that. But when you look at the college film, there are some things that were concerning, you know, um, at his size, you were hoping to see a bit more physicality in some of these things. And, you know, uh, when you look at him, when he was coming out of high school, it looked like sky was the limit for him. We got to Auburn the sky started to crash around him, it seemed like. So um, the interesting thing, and, and we want to get into next is, what does the team think? What does the Roto Heat and Rookie Draft Guide team think? And and it'll be interesting to see, and it'll be interesting to help you understand what we think to help you prepare for your rookie drafts. Million dollar question. Is he a top 10 rookie wide receiver in this draft class? Let you know in the comments below, but I'm going to tell you, going based on what our evaluators say, it's iffy, very iffy. You know, I, I used to be one of those guys that would subscribe to the theory, the big the, the big receivers with a, a solid athletic profile and good hands and ability and route running ability that, that checks all my boxes. Uh, Williams does not check all those boxes. Now, um, there are some of the evaluators on the team that want nothing to do with him. There's some evaluators on the team that think if he gets with a veteran receiver, that could be very beneficial for Williams long term. Uh, there are some on the team that, that think he just needs time to sit and, and, and learn and grow from the coaches and, and develop. Now, um, the things he does well, he's, he's, he's got above average hands. Um, he, on the flip side of it, 
he doesn't, you know, get separation all that well. Um, on the flip side of that, he has the ability to high point the ball and go up and get it and, and does pretty well in those 50-50 situations. Um, there's just, there's so many, you know, when you, this is one of those guys that you could sit and write the pros and cons list and I'm pretty sure it'd be 50-50, you know, just like his ability to uh, catch those contested balls, 50-50 balls. He does some things above average and that's kind of the, as I was putting together, you know, because when I create these videos, I compile all the information from our team here at RotoHeat and RookieDraftGuide.com and, and, and try to figure out what this picture looks like. Is the team high on them? Is the team low on them? The team's above average. I mean, that's kind of William's mantra in our, in our team is he's above average. Now, uh, like I said, there are, um, there's one of the evaluators, and we have a lot of evaluators that said, I don't, I'm just not interested. Uh, with his size... Above average athletic profile, hands, ability that, you know, and his route running ability is good for the routes that he runs. But unfortunately at Auburn, they just didn't have him running a ton of routes. So the interesting thing that, that we'll want to see with Williams, uh, you know, moving into the next level is, is what is the team doing with him? You know, is he coming in and just kind of being the big slot receiver to start? That could be good because then you're running maybe not so much, a, 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 you know, he they can limit the route tree and really focus on the things he does well and get, and help him develop and grow in some of those other areas. That that would be great for him. That would be beneficial. Uh, if he comes in and is just sitting as a, as a, as a you know, depth for a team as he continues to learn and grow, maybe taxi squad eligible, maybe just a, a guy that's out on the, on the waiver wire that nobody goes after. I mean, that's, that's kind of the, the giant, gap of where Williams could go, you know, in your, in your rookie drafts. Now I will tell you that rookiedraftguide.com, we will have the, the kind of the sweet spot because we'll do, we do the mocks, we compile the data and we help you figure out kind of where you need to target a player if you want to get him on your roster. Uh, but like I said, I want to know below, is he one of your top 10 receivers? With us, he's a fringe guy. So some of the guys, he could, he could work his way into that, but it's going to take a lot of work and the situation and, and some of those things that, that help a player has to be huge for him. So it'll be interesting to see where he goes. Um, as always, let's keep this conversation going over on Discord and the Facebook community. Hit us up on Twitter. Let's do all the conversations and have all those things happen. Um, we appreciate it. We love you guys and we will talk to you again soon.